Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we're going to go through a little bit of our order fulfillment worksheet and a few of the other applications that we have available. So the goal today, just a quick overview of kind of who you're talking to, then we'll do the uh, you know product overview and finally jump into the software demo. And we'll do some uh, question and answer throughout the session. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the Q&A box in Zoom. And at the end, I will answer any open questions, but I'll try and get to those questions during the session as well. Probably about 45 minutes or so today, 45 to 60 minutes, depending on the number of questions we get. All right, with that, let's jump in. So a little bit about InsightWorks. We've been around for a bit over 10 years now, and we provide applications for Business Central and even the old uh, NAV or Navision uh, system you might be using. But we focus on all the Business Central applications. So all the ones over here, these are all of our applications that we have available for both manufacturing, distribution, and retail as well. We're based in Canada, but we do uh, work globally. So we work with Optimus uh, you know, throughout uh, the world to deliver these solutions. Um, all right, now that last set of solutions for manufacturing, retail distribution, all those sorts of things that are there. Those are all available for Business Central, on-premises, or on SaaS. These applications here, these are our free applications. <clears throat> and they're available, <clears throat> pardon me, they're available if you're running Business Central, SaaS, or LS Central. These tools give you a lot of additional capability within Business Central, and there's no cost whatsoever. You don't have to register with us or anything else. You can go to AppSource, install them, and start using them right away, or get Optimus to help you, and they'll get you all set up and working. So uh, I'll just go over a few of these because they're they're useful to talk about in this context. My graphical schedule up here is more for manufacturing, but you can actually put any data you want on a graphical chart, like a Gantt chart or a calendar. So if there are things that you want to show graphically within Business Central, you can use a graphical scheduler to do that. Uh, the print node connector, you'll see a bit of that today. That allows us to do cloud-based printing. So if you are on LS Central or you know Business Central Cloud, you can go in, use this to automatically print documents without any user interaction, those sorts of things. And then down here, we're going to cover off a few of these. Doc Extender is simple drag and drop, so I can drag and drop documents into the system. It'll attach in SharePoint or within Business Central. We've got Ordership Express, which allows me to do shipping right from the system. So from a sales order, I can go in and get my shipping labels, my tracking numbers, everything within Business Central. And WMS Express, which is our free warehouse management solution. So it will work with any location configuration. So if you're small retail, all the way up to a large distribution warehouse, WMS Express can likely do what you need to manage your warehouse. All right. So those are the free applications that we have available just to the side. But what we're focused on today <coughs> is the order fulfillment worksheet. So the goal of the order fulfillment worksheet is to answer that question at the top there. What can I ship today? So what the system does is it goes in, it looks at all of your sales orders in the system, or if you're using warehouse management, it'll look at you know, warehouse shipments and transfer orders and warehouse picks and all of those sorts of things. Uh, that you need to manage your outbound processes. So using sales orders, it'll go through, look at all the sales orders by date and tell you what's available to ship today. So what that means is you don't have to worry about, you know, when I release a sales order to the warehouse or when I generate a sales order, you know, do can I ship it? Do I have enough to ship? Or if I've got 50 sales orders in the system, knowing which ones I can actually go out into the warehouse or into the store uh, to go and, and find and ship that product. The system will tell you. And if you manage back orders, so if you have a customer that ordered something last week and it came in this morning, you don't have to manage that manually anymore. What will happen is the system will tell you, hey, you've got you know, a back order for 10, uh, 10 cases of uh, you know, croutons or something like that. They just came in, you can ship them to your customer now. So it manages that all automatically. And at the bottom here, it also says it run, it can run periodically. So you can have the system automatically generate pick documents for you, say every hour or every morning or whatever you like, based on new orders that have come in and new purchases that have been received. 
So you can fully automate that warehouse process and store process as well, simply by setting up the order fulfillment worksheet. Okay. Now, the concept is very simple, but it's very powerful. And then when you combine that order fulfillment worksheet with some of our other tools, you get a complete solution for your warehouse or your store or whatever you're working in. So the companion apps that can go with order fulfillment worksheet. Now you don't need to use any of these applications, but they're there and available if you want. So the idea is order fulfillment worksheet can tell me, yes, you need to pick these 10 sales orders. Then I can go ahead and use WMS Express, which again is the free tool for warehouse management to go out, pick those orders and ship them right from a handheld device, right? So I'm out there scanning the, the items that I'm actually picking. So I know I'm not shipping the wrong product. And then we can use Order Ship Express, which is also free to go out and get my shipping labels, to get my tracking numbers, to get my uh, shipping costs, everything right from within Business Central. And those two there again are free, they work together and they'll work with your order fulfillment worksheet to really help streamline your outbound process. Now, if you're larger or need more capabilities, we also have something called Warehouse Insight. And Warehouse Insight is our full warehouse management solution where if order or WMS Express doesn't have some of the features you need, you can go to the full warehouse insight and it will do the same thing. I can go out, I can pick my product, I can ship it, I can receive it, I can do everything I need to do in the warehouse with a mobile device. And then Dynamic Ship is the larger version of Order Ship Express. It allows me to do packaging and integrate with EDI and um, do LTL shipping or full truckload shipping, those types of things right from within Business Central. And then finally, the last two are also free tools. Again, the print node connector makes it simple for me to print things like shipping labels. And the barcode generator allows me to add barcodes to reports so that if I'm out there picking, you know, uh, an order, I can add the barcodes onto that sales order that I'm picking. All right. So those are some of the, the tools that we have available. To begin, what we're focused on is the order fulfillment worksheet. And I'm going to jump in and show you what that looks like. So here I am in Business Central. And what we're going to do is simply go in and I'm going to do the search and I'm going to do OFW for order fulfillment worksheet and open that up. And when I, as soon as I open up the page, what it will do is go in, it's going to read all the sales orders for my default warehouse location or store location. I'll give it a sec here. The first time it wakes up in the morning, it's like me, it's very slow and tired. And we'll give Business Central a second here. And if you've been using Business Central, you'll notice this whenever there's an update or if you haven't uh, logged in for a day or two, it might be kind of slow the first time, but after that, it'll be very fast the next time it loads. So just to close this, to illustrate that, to start from scratch, I type in my order fulfillment worksheet, hit enter, and then it's there. So it's just the first time it takes a while to load. Now, um, this is my default location for me, but as I mentioned, we can work in any warehouse configuration. So I've got things here that are set up to be, you know, the full advanced warehousing, all the way to very simple warehousing or stores or whatever you have in your environment. So in this one, it's, it's my main location. And you can see down here, this is a list of all the orders in the system that I need to at some point ship out the door. Now, some of these dates don't make sense. This is, you know, back order all the way from 2020. And I've got some other older dates. But what it's done, so this is the sales order. These are the items on the sales order that I need to ship. So what it's done is it's gone out. It said, okay, you need three of this, you know, 1972 thing here, and you've got 10 available to use. So it's taken out of that 10, it's taken three and it's allocated it to this particular order. So we can fu fully ship this 1972-S. And then if we go to the next line, we've got that 1972-S here, we need 11, but now it says we only have seven available. And the reason we only have seven is because the order above it used the first three. So that's what it's doing. It's going through and saying, okay, you had 10. Well, this one, this order gets three. And now this order doesn't have enough to ship. So the first order, it says it's fully available and fully allocated. The second order, it says it's only partly available because we're missing some items we can ship. And we also haven't fully allocated all the items that we can ship. So looking at this, we can very easily see what we're able to fulfill, what we're able to ship today. And the default behavior is it goes by our shipment date. 
So everything is sorted by date. But if I wanted to do it by customer or by carrier, right? Maybe I just want to do my FedEx orders. I can filter just on FedEx and do only my FedEx orders and see what I can fulfill for the FedEx orders and then come back and do UPS or whatever else, right? So I can come in and you know, choose DHL and fulfill all my DHL orders, which I don't have any, those types of things. Or if I'm just doing everything, I can say, okay, show me now after it's done that calculation, everything that I can get out the door today. So out of all the orders I have in the system, these are the ones that I can either fully or partially ship. And we'll just look at this one here because it says partially available, but fully allocated. And what that means is I can't ship the whole order. So there's two items I can't ship any of, but for the items that I can ship, I can ship the full line. So this allocation basically is at the line level. It tells me every line that I had product for is fully allocated, but in the order in its whole is only partially shippable. Now, if you're worried about you know, uh, shipping advice, like I have to ship an order complete every time, if this is set to uh, ship complete on the sales order, and which will default from the customer, and I don't have everything I need to ship, it will tell me it's not available to ship. Okay, so it does look at the shipping advice there as well. All right, now let me show you. So that, that's fairly simple. I didn't have to do anything. All I did was I opened up the screen and it told me what I can ship today. And from here, I can go ahead and print my pick instructions. Or if you're in a warehouse environment where you have warehouse picks or inventory picks, I can come in here and create those. And I, actually, let's show you that as well real quick and then I'll jump back. So I'll go to a, a location it actually uses some of the warehouse capabilities within Business Central. So this one, I've got, I think, 500 orders in the system. So it'll take a, a second or two to load up. And what this allows me to do is now go through and combine shipments and got, combine picks for multiple customers. So exactly the same situation. It's come in and it's done my allocation. I've got lots of stuff I can ship today. Um, and this first one here, because it's a, a full warehouse environment, it tells me, yes, I can actually you know, ship this, but first I have to move that product out of my bulk storage area. Okay? So it's not in my, my picking area, it's in you know, bulk storage somewhere. And if I move it out, then I can ship it. That's what that move required means. But here, what I can do is if I say, you know what, I wanna ship you know, this order, you know, these, these uh, three orders here, I wanna ship them all in a single shipment. I can create a shipment, it will, combine all of these into a single shipment document, and then I can create my picks and I can combine all of those orders into a single pick or into multiple picks, depending on how you wanna do it. So if I say create pick, and oh, I gotta set my batch name here. If I say create pick, what that's going to allow me to do is generate a pick document for those three orders and split it up any way I like. So for example, here it says combine shipments, which means it's going to take you know, all of these orders combine it into a single shipment. If I say no, then it's gonna create one shipment for each order. And it's going to allow me now to generate one or more picks for all of those shipments. So if you're using any of the advanced warehousing functionality and that validate address there, by the way, that's dynamic ship where it can come in and set up, I should actually turn that off for this, but it'll validate the address to make sure that you're not trying to uh, ship to an address that's not valid. And here I can come in and combine. I can say, yeah, give me one pick per customer or you know, per bin or zone or whatever you like. So this is very similar to the standard Business Central pick creation capability. And if I hit okay, it's gonna create picks for all of those, print them out or send them to the handheld device. And now I can execute those picks in the warehouse, all right? So if I cancel out of this, it's not gonna create the picks but we do have the, the shipments now created for those orders. And now I can create picks or whatever I need to for these orders. All right, so that's, if you're using the advanced warehousing, it's exactly the same concept and, and capabilities. The difference is we have the ability to combine shipments, to combine picks, all of that sort of thing. If I go back to my basic warehouse, where I'm in my main warehouse, where we don't have that warehousing functionality turned on, I've, you know, I've got sales orders, and I can print my pick instructions so I can select, you know, I can filter down just to, you know, the ones that are available. And if you're not familiar with this, I think probably most people are in Business Central, but you can create your own views. So these are views I created. So if you want to have specific views for the different carriers or customers or priorities or whatever you like, 
you can set that up and then just choose it from here. Now, <clears throat> back to this, if I wanted to, to go out and, and pick a couple of these orders, you know, I can come in, I can select those, I can print the pick document, send the people out uh, in the warehouse to get it, or again, I can use the handheld devices, which I'm gonna show you in a bit as well, just because it closes the loop uh, to execute those picks. Now let's talk a little bit about this, this guy down here that's not available. So it needs uh, some of this LS2, and I have none available in, in the system. Probably nothing up above here has, has that as well. I've got none available. This is a back order. I've ordered it for a customer, and you know it hasn't come in yet. So let's say that sometime you know, during the day, uh, I'm just going to close this. Sometime during the day, somebody comes in and receives a purchase order for that item. And the people in the shipping department you know, don't necessarily know what's come in or what, uh, what back orders are gonna be fulfilled or any of those sorts of things. So let's open this up, this, uh, this purchase order here. And I'm going to just simply come in and set my quantity receive as five. So we're gonna go ahead and just receive those. Okay, so that's this, uh, this LS2 that was on back order. And so a customer had ordered it. Sometime during the day, you know, this order came in as a shipper, I don't necessarily know that it's come in, but if I open up my order fulfillment worksheet here, you can see now immediately it says it's available to ship. I don't have to do anything to manage those back orders. As product comes in the door, uh, it'll tell me if I can ship that order or not. So now there's no clipboards or anybody keeping track of reservations or any of those sorts of things to manage those back orders. As the product shows up, it makes it available to pick. And if you use the job queue, this will automatically generate the picks for me, print them out or send them to the handheld device. So speaking of a handheld device, if I generate a pick document for this, I can now go out and use WMS Express or Warehouse Insight to scan these orders uh, into the system to indicate that I've picked them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this. This is Warehouse Insight. And I'm also gonna show you my webcam. And that's WMS Express. So WMS Express here, this is the handheld I actually have in my hand. And this screen here on the left, that's this handheld that I have in my hand here. And these will work on phones as well. These are, these are nice little scanners here, but you, know, you can run this on a phone and use the camera for a, a scanner if you want. But when I generate that PIC document, it'll send it to the device. And now I can simply come in, you know, in WMS Express, open up that or go into Warehouse Insight, open up my pick list, and now the picker here has everything they need to start that pick. And here's all the orders, by the way. There's that, you know, oops, so you can't see it. There's that, uh, these are all the orders that I have. There's that 1013 that I can uh, pick that was now fulfilled in the order fulfillment worksheet. I can open that up and start working on that right from the handheld device, scan all of that product in, and I don't need to use paper if I don't want. But the big advantage of this is I can actually go in, scan that so I know I'm shipping the right product, right? If I don't have a scanner, then how do I know I've shipped the right product? I might've grabbed the wrong box or something like that. And it's the same thing with this, right? If I come in here, I open up one of these pick documents that was generated from Order Ship Express. I can open that up. It shows me where I'm supposed to find the product, what the product is, what the quantity is. And I can simply go through and scan all of that into uh, the system. This is goes right back to Business Central, updates all the documents there, so I can actually do my shipping either from the handout or from within Business Central. So let me just show you what this looks like. I'm gonna scan a barcode. I have uh, bins enabled in my warehouse, so it says scan the bin down here. So I am gonna scan the bin that I'm picking from. So we scan the bin, so we know that I'm picking the, the product from the right spot. And then I scan the item that I'm picking. And then what it's doing, it'll show me a picture. So if I'm supposed to pick uh, some frozen fish and it shows me a picture of you know, bacon or something like that, I know I've got the wrong uh, barcode or I've scanned the wrong item and I can correct it. And then I simply enter the quantity I've picked and it updates Business Central with that and shows me that I've picked it. And all of this is reflected in Business Central or LS Central in real time and I know you know, the order fulfillment worksheet knows all of this stuff that I'm doing out on the shop floor. So the next time I, I run my fulfillment, it knows exactly what's being done and what's left to be done, 
right? So very simple. Now, just a, a couple other minor things while I'm while I'm here, you know, and I'll back out on uh, on the main screen as well here. But all of these functions here, so inventory counts, receiving, shipping, all of those sorts of things on WMS Express and in Warehouse Insight um, tie in with Business Central directly. And more than just working with order fulfillment worksheet, will work with anything you need to do with inventory in your facility. All right. So that's a little bit on, you know, sort of after the fulfillment worksheet is run, I can send it to the warehouse and I can use those handheld devices to actually execute those actions. Now, let's say I've picked all of that product and I'm using, you know, WMS Express or, or paper or whatever you want. And now I need to go out and ship this order out. So let's say I want to ship what's, what's available on this order. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually open that, that order up. So I'm just going to click on this to open up that sales order. And again, we, if you're using dynamic ship, it can work a little differently. If you have packing stations, somebody at a packing station can just open this order and, and ship. But right here, using uh, order ship express or dynamic ship, using order ship express, which is free, I can simply come in here and say, you know what, I need to ship this order. I hit the button for generating the labels. This is already set to, to ship FedEx today, or I could choose a different carrier here. And then I simply come in and say, you know what, I'm shipping a 10 by 12 by six box and it's gonna weigh five pounds. And you know, that's basically it. I indicated how many boxes I'm shipping. Maybe let's say I've got two boxes here. I've got another one that's 11 by 12 by five and it's also five pounds or kilograms or whatever unit of measure you wanna set. And that's it. So I do that. And then if I want to see the price, I can hit get rate and it'll tell me what it's going to cost. But I don't need to do that. I just want my shipping labels. So I say get label. And what it will do is it goes out to FedEx now. So it's going right out to FedEx. It's getting my label. It's getting my price. It's getting my tracking number, everything like that in real time. In the, the production environment, <clears throat> usually takes about three seconds to five seconds to get the label. In the test environment here, it's usually closer to 10 seconds. But here's my labels. Oh, let me back up. Actually, I'll show you in a sec. But with the print node connector, this would automatically have printed on my printer for me. So I've got my box one of two and my box two of two. So there's my labels, prints out on the printer, and I'm good to go. Right. So that's it. And now what it did was it brought in exactly what I'm paying for this label. It brought in the tracking number. And we also marked up that cost of freight. So you can set a markup on your on what you're paying. So if you're getting discounts, and with Order Ship Express for UPS and USPS, you'll actually get discounted shipping rates through Order Ship Express. So you might get 20% off the listed rate, and you can mark it up by 20% to make some money on your shipping. Now, when I did that, what it did, you'll notice it added in the shipping charge right onto the sales order with the cost and the price. So this is what we're charging the customer. We know what that freight cost us. So if you want to analyze if you're making or losing money when you're shipping, you can do that. So we automatically added that on. If we scroll down to the shipping area, you see we put the tracking number on there automatically. So all of that functionality is part of Ordership Express and it's completely free. All of what I just did, you can do in order ship express. And then of course we have dynamic ship, which does a lot more like you can do freight quoting, you can do packaging, you've got address validation, you've got a whole bunch of other things you can do if you're using dynamic ship. But if you just need, you know, FedEx, UPS, USPS shipping labels, you can use order ship express to do that. And I should mention the FedEx uh, integration will be uh, there in April. If you install it right this very minute today, you'll get UPS and USPS and FedEx will be, uh, will be in April. All right, so that's basically it. That, there's not much more to it than, uh, than what I've shown you. You simply choose the location you're working in. It tells you exactly what you can ship. And from here, I either create my picks or I print out the documents, execute them on paper or using Warehouse Insight or WMS Express. And then I can come back into Business Central and ship them out, get my shipping labels, get my rates, get my tracking numbers, everything else. And of course, if you want to automate that, which I mentioned, you can uh, sort of have that run automatically. If we look at the job queue here, here I've got, you know, my UPS fulfillment. So what this is, is I've got the order fulfillment worksheet running 
you know, every hour. So every hour during the day from Monday to Friday, this is going to run and it's automatically going to create my, my pick documents for me. And what that, uh, what that looks like is we come in here and we set up how we want, you know, the, those picks created and what criteria we want to use. So we're going to say we're shipping anything that's available or partially available that's going out by UPS. So this is going to run every hour and generate all my picks for the customers to get their, their product by UPS. And I don't have to do anything. I never even have to open the order fulfillment worksheet every hour. If there's any picks or, or any product available to ship UPS, I'm going to, it's going to show up on the printer or it's going to show up on the handheld and I can execute those picks. So all very magical. All right. So I talked really fast, had a lot of coffee today. So I finished quite a bit early. Uh, doesn't look like there's any questions uh, so far, uh, but I will pause to see if anybody does have any questions. Feel free to enter them in the uh, Q&A box if you have questions. No? All right, so let's go back into the PowerPoint here. And we'll just close off with this. Now for pricing and, and uh, help with getting Warehouse Insight or WMS Express or Ordership Express or any of that stuff set up, feel free to contact Optimus. They'll be able to help you out with any of that. If you need more information on the Fulfillment Worksheet, go to Fulfillment for Dynamics. There's all the information you'll need there and information on all the other products that you can install or ask uh, Optimus about if you need more information.